Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kathy from Scratch with Kathy, and I'm a hot mess, and this is my cousin, Sarah. She's from Dallas, and she's escaping the heat, and she came here to join me and cook with me live. And we're going to make one of our favorite beverages in the whole wide world. What is that? Boba tea. Do you have a favorite flavor? Honey milk tea. Honey milk. Ooh, I've never tried it, but it sounds really good. So let's go ahead and make, we're going to make those. I made a few things in advance, guys, because it's really, hold on a second. I gotta set something up here. Well, I thought I was going to. Oh, guys, sometimes I'm just not with it. Okay, I'm trying to see my live on my tablet, so if you guys ask us any questions, we could answer them, but obviously, that is not working for me. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm sure I can figure this out. Maybe not. Okay, let's see here. You can use my phone. Yeah, maybe we should. You want to bring your phone over? She's yeah. gonna go get her. She's gonna get her phone and bring right it over. Her. She'll be right back. While she's doing that, I'm gonna do something else here. I am going to talk about how we made the pearls. This is what the pearls look like when you put them in your cup. Kind of like a goopy mess. When you put them in liquid, they suspend. They start out looking like this. They are. They come in a package. They're dry and hard. And so you put them in a kettle with 10 cups of water to a half a cup of pearls. But you bring that water to a boil, rolling boil. You pour your pearls in. You let them float. And once they float, you turn it down to medium and you boil them for 30 minutes. After you boil them for 30 minutes, you let them cool another 30 minutes, and then you strain them and rinse them with cold water and put them in here. And now they're ready to go in a beverage. So that's how we made that. So you kind of see why we didn't. Guys, we would be sleeping watching that. So that's how we made the bobo pearls. These can be kept in the refrigerator. Just keep them cold, and they will keep for quite some time. Now, how we made our black tea. You take your water. You take four cups of water, bring it to a boil with 12 bags of tea in it, okay? So you're going to put your 12 bags of tea in there, and then you're going to boil and let it boil, and then you let it cool to room temperature with the tea bags in it, okay? That's pretty simple. I use my electric tea pot because it's so much easier. Also, you need to have two glasses, nice size, because you're going to put ice in them, and you're going to want to have some bubbo straws. Bobo straws are big so they can pull up the, the little pearls and you can eat them as you drink your beverage. So that's what those are. So, we're all set. Are we ready over there, Sarah? It's okay. Guys, we, can, we aren't with it. Maybe by next time we'll figure it out. But right now, we don't have it live. So, it's okay. Come on, Sarah, let's just let it go. Guys, we're sorry we won't answer your questions. We are not as good at this as we thought we were. <laughs> okay, first off, Sarah, we're going to get our kettles over here. And in this kettle, we're going to make honey simple syrup. And in this kettle, we're going to make brown sugar simple syrup. Okay? And with the honey simple syrup, we need one cup of water. So do you want to measure out a cup, a cup of water? You can use okay. this gallon right here. And, the, and a cup is all the way to the top edge there on that measuring cup that you're not familiar with. <laughs> She's using, we, I get my water that I cook with from a spring in Oakham, Mass, and I use that to make all my stuff with so my water does not have a bunch of chemicals in it. Okay, go ahead and pour that in there. Now, you're going to need a half a cup of honey to one cup of water. So this is your measuring cup. And you're going to push it down. I'll push it down because it's kind of hard. Half cup. And you're going to pour half a cup of honey in there. I'm going to get you a little. So go ahead. You're fine. Just pour it in. You should just pour. Get pour it level to the top. These cups are really nice because they save you from having to clean a bunch of stuff out and lose all your honey. So just keep on pouring. This is local honey. Hopefully I have a half a cup of honey in there. I didn't even think about that. If that jar even held a half a cup. Looks like it will. Maybe. I may need to get a little scraper and scrape it out. So local honey 
is always better for you if you can get it because then it has all the things that help with allergies and stuff because the bees are eating it. Let me see if I can clean some out for you. Since we're a little low. Let's see if we can get our half cup out. Okay, let's see. How much do we think we have? We're just shy. a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so we'll just fix the proportions. And that's, if you're short on something, that's the best way to fix it. Okay, now I'm going to give you this to scrape it off when I push it into there, okay? Okay, okay Sarah, go ahead. Clean off the bottom there. See how nice that cleans that out? That nice. Okay, so Sarah's learning about how it's made because she usually just goes and buys her bobo tea. She doesn't make it, so this is a new experience for her too. So we're going to take this over here and put it on the burner, and we're going to turn it on. We don't want it too hot. And once we turn it on, also Sarah never touch the handles without a hot pad after this because gas stoves get them very hot. And I can tell you guys from experience, I've burned myself even though I know. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is you need to come over and stir this until you get all the honey stirred in. If you can do that, I'm going to start mixing up the brown sugar one, okay? Got that? Got it. Got any questions for me? No. Okay. Get rid of some of these nasty things. Okay, let's go on to the brown sugar one. We're going to add a cup of water. Get. 
seven tablespoons. That's okay. We'll just do seven tablespoons of that, okay? It's fine. Pour it in here. There you go. It's fine. So, with cooking, Sarah, you can do, you can make mistakes like that, and it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay now we're going to, um, let me get the honey thing back. I think we're going to want that and put that. Sweet and condensed milk is very, very thick. So, we're going to put it, put this down to six, ta seven tablespoons. Okay, and you're going to, I'm going to fill it to the top. Want to go stir those salt bowls for me real quick? Okay. Are you the one I'm boiling yet? Yep. Which one? The honey. The honey one? Okay. And, the, and some of the brown sugar one. And some of the brown sugar one. Okay, the honey one's one, one we want to know about. Okay, now, now we're going to turn it down to low. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch it. And we're going to tell Alexa to set a timer for 10 minutes because we need to cook it for 10 minutes. You want to go ahead and tell it that? Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So now. There you go. Okay, now, you can only have to stir it every so often okay. now. This one looks like it's coming to a boil, starting to come to a boil. I was going to give you a whisk here to do this with. Okay. I'm going to put this in here and then you can whisk, whisk the milk up. Okay. okay. Go ahead and whisk it up and get it good and mixed together. So the thing with bobo tea, guys, is you can't go wrong. You just need to keep the portions right. And that way you will be okay. As long as you keep your portions complete. Let me put this half and half. Are you getting it mixed in? Yep. Okay. So you want it totally mixed together. All right. This is coming to a boil. We're going to turn it down to low. And Alexa, set a timer for... Hold, hold on, guys. i got to figure out. For five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes for the brown sugar syrup. Brown sugar syrup timer. Five minutes. Starting now. Okay, so we got that going. And we got it both, them both simmering along. Now, um... Let me see if anybody has any questions. You got any questions about how to make this so far, Sarah? How are we feeling today? Good. That's one of the questions. Me too. I'm feeling good. It's a beautiful day here in New England. It's a nice, cool 70-some degrees. Yeah. It's really nice. I like it. Okay, you, well, I'm going to let her continue that. I'll look and see if we have any other questions real quick. So you want to check our stuff? Okay. They want to know if they can go live together with us. I, I don't know. Not Maybe not this time. This is our first time. Maybe later. You guys can cook. Oh, what? You want to talk about what we're going to cook tonight? Oh, yeah. We're going to do... Um we're going to make vegetable and tofu lo mein, which is Asian food. Yes, and one of her favorites. And then we're also going to make firecracker chicken, which is my daughter's favorite. So we're going to make those two things tonight with rice. And um, have you ever made that before? No. Is it your first time? Yeah. Oh, cool. She's going to learn how to do it and how to cook it and put it together. We're going to have a great time. So I hope you guys join us to cook that. How, is that incorporated together really good? Okay, good. Also, um, I wanted to say, I want you guys to make sure you like and, like and subscribe to Sarah's TikTok channel, which is It's Just Sarah 66. Six. And also you can go to my YouTube channel, From Scratch with Kathy, where you can see full videos of different cooking things. And our cooking from today and all of today will be up on my YouTube channel later. So we like that. I also have an Instagram account, and I feel free to follow us there also. Um, that would be at the top of my TikTok page. There's a place you can click, and you can go to each of them without having to look. So how are we feeling about this? What's the next step we need to do? Well, let's see here. We got our brown sugar syrup going. 
got our black tea done. You got the milk mix done. You got the bobo. We can start putting it together and just wait for the rest of it, right? Yeah. We can work on it. That way we'd really be ready. Okay, so let's get our glasses. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to let you make both of them, Sarah. First thing you're going to do is put a third of a cup of bobo pearl, uh, pearls, of tapioca pearls in each of them. So why don't you do that so everybody can see you do that. Go ahead, just scoop them out in there. Wow. It's okay. There we go. Wow, you heaped it up. <laughs> go ahead, it's fine. Okay. Add some to this cup. I got myself extra. You gave yourself extra? That's fine. Can I give myself a little extra? You like, sure can. You can put as many bobos and as uh, many pearls as you want in there. Okay, now put some in mine. How much do you want? Just a, a third of a cup's fine for me. These will, the pearls will keep for about two days in the refrigerator after you bake them. I'm going to add a little more to mine. Okay, you do that. And I love those a lot. Yeah, I wonder if you like pearls. I, I, you guys, look at this cup. It's a third of the way full of pearls. I hope we have room for ice and other things. I do. <laughs> okay. Next thing we're going to do, now that we've added that, is, um, what's the next thing? Oh, I got to look at the, oh, next is a, we add our syrup, which we don't have, do we? The brown sugar syrup. Uh, do, you use, do they put brown sugar syrup in your honey one? They put um, brown sugar syrup on the boba. Oh, okay. Well, we need to wait a second then. We can't do that. Because it's still cooking. It has to cool a sec. Has to cool a hot second. Yep. Okay, well, okay, we did as much as we could. Um, you know what we can do is we're going to set this aside and we're going to get the um, tofu ready for tonight's meal because it has to be pressed out. Okay. Okay, you want to do that? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Oh, it's boiling. Okay, you want to stir those? Oh. Okay, you want to turn it off? Turn the brown sugar syrup off. The brown sugar syrup turner is done. Alexa, you want to tell Alexa to turn off? She hates me. Alexa, turn off. Look at that. She listened to you. I don't even know what to say. Okay, let's put this over here so it can cool. Actually, I'm going to pour it out. We should pour it in. Into another container so it'll cool faster. Yeah, and then we can put the bobas in there and let them soak in a little bit. I think they're a little hot. It's a little hot to put boba in, don't you think? I think we should put it in, just in case. Okay, you want to put them all in? Yeah. Okay. Do you use? Okay, go ahead and pour them in. She's gonna. Do, we're going to do something different. You want a spoon or a spatula to clean that out with? Okay. Here you go. There we go. I'm going to try this to let them soak in. Okay. I'm going to let them soak in a little bit. She wants some brown sugar, hers and brown sugar, because that's the way they do it at her place before she gets her tapioca. So we're going to put them in there and let them soak in some brown sugar. Okay. Add the rest of the other ones. You want to do it with this one? Stir them up good. Okay. Okay, so the thing about tofu, which is what we're going to make tonight, you want to take that and put it in the refrigerator so it'll cool down quickly? Okay. Right here? You know where to, here, I'll take it for you. You want to, do you know anything? You don't know about tofu this either. Hold on, let me get this. I don't want it to. My I have a new refrigerator, guys, and it's weird. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, when you have tofu, it always does better if you um, press it. Okay, and pressing it means we're just gonna put some weight on it and let it press out till we're ready to cook it later this afternoon. So what are we gonna do? You wanna cut around here with the knife? Okay. Just cut around the edge because we're gonna let out the water. 
here, let me go dump it first. Okay. It comes, tell you it comes in water. So you want to get the water out. Oh, hi, Birdie. Did you decide to join the live stream? Okay, now go around the edge. Just right along the edge. Yeah, like that. That's perfect. Just kind of stick it in. Or you can just peel it back like this if you want. Stab it again, yeah. Kind of stab it and then go. Just leave it, once you stab it, just stay and keep going. There you go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get some paper towels. And then you can do this with regular towels, but I like to use paper towels. And I want you to fold these up, okay? And I'm going to get another stack of them. Fold them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold like this, uh -huh, and then put it in the bottom of here, like that, and fold it up. Now, take the tofu out and put it in here. So I dump the whole thing out? Uh-huh. Okay. And now we take more paper towels. And this is called... Alexa, turn off. Okay, turn off your honey. This is called um, pressing, and so we're going to press it out. And so you put this in the refrigerator, and I'll put something heavy on top of it. Let me remove her honey syrup from here, and I'll get a container to put it into. Okay, so we're going to put something heavy. Let's see what I can find that's heavy to put in it. Oh, I know. I have, excuse me. I have this heavy um, meat thing. So I'll put this in the refrigerator until till this evening, and you guys will see what we're going to do with it next. But this is called pressing it. It needs to press it out. Okay. I think we can do this now. Yeah. Okay. I think we should get one of these things, because these things are like what they use at boba. Oh, just to dip them out? Yeah. Okay. So dip those into your... Oh, you want more than a third of a cup, don't you? Here, why don't you dip out what you want? Into, or just dip them straight into there. How about that? Yeah, I'll do this. Okay, you do that. Look at that, guys. She is a pro at this. I know how to make it. She knows how to put it together. How much more do you want? I'm going to do your syrup while you're doing that, okay? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Birdie has a thing about barking at every <laughs> delivery guy that drives down the road. She thinks she's keeping me safe. Oh, look at that. I think you've got enough in there for you. What do you think? Yep. How much do you want? Well, maybe a couple. Let's see what it looks like. I can give you two scoops. Okay, why don't you give me two scoops? Is that good? Maybe one more. Okay. I'm feeling like you. Excellent. Okay, now let's set this to the side. Now we're going to add a third, let's see, what does it say? A third of a cup of this, and this is kind of still warm, so I'm going to pour it, okay? Here. Or we can pour it in there because I see them pour it in there. Pour it in here? Like in the milk. Into the milk? Yeah. Oh, so they just pour the whole thing in? Yeah. Okay. Now we take and we get, she's going to mix that up. And then we put the tea in. Mix the tea in with it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's put it in a bigger container. Okay. Now we add the tea. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me measure it out.
pick out a straw? Okay. Pick out a straw for both of us and mix it up. You're not supposed to start drinking it yet. You're supposed to mix it. <laughs> oh. What? How do I mix it? Just mix it up so that your bubbles, it all gets in there with your, your pearls. See you then.